Hey, Glenn, you've been out and you've done recce and you've had a bit of a look at the track. What do you think? Yeah, it's got a little bit of everything. Um, it's going to be pretty wet, muddy, which is not ideal in a can -Am, But um, there's a lot of sand, a lot of whoops. It's, uh, I probably haven't seen a track that's quite like that with a bit of everything in it. Where it's wet, it's slippery, but uh, there's pretty good grip in sand. So, uh, And then there's some a lot of rally style main roads so grip will be pretty high there so it'll be fast but technical and for you with lots of whoopsies and everything in that in the in this car how do you handle and and, and take all of those part of the track you try and anticipate what it's going to do but after the first lap it becomes a whole lot easier remember how it reacted that last time around so it's um it becomes pretty predictable it's uh the whoops might get a bit deeper the ruts might get a bit deeper but it's yeah it's you, you, after the first lap you're pretty good so you do seven laps of this track, it's an 80 kilometre track, seven laps, that's a lot of kilometres. Yeah, 560 k's apparently. But um, we, we do a couple of two lap stints and then we have a, uh, a break, a service, half hour service and then go do another lap. So there's always a bit of time to work on the car if you need to. And what's your strategy going to be for the weekend? Uh, finish, like always. I like finishing. But um, look, there's some pretty fast guys out the front we use them as a a yardstick to see how we go and uh, we've been improving all year so if we get a bit more improvement I'd be happy with that. And the Can-Am is looking pretty spectacular again as usual, it's got a nice wrap on it. Yeah we've made a bit of a thing changing the wrap for each event and put pictures that are relevant to the area so um, yeah no, I think people look forward to seeing what it is this time.